Okay, so um, last video we made the flower power node and we learned how to manipulate spherical coordinates or the basics. So today we're going to be make, making the super shape node. So I already made an add-on which does it that for you. But the problem is once you've changed the values, I mean, you can't change them back later. If the object, if you click away, um, the object will be, has been made and then that's it. So, um, Let's delete this super shape and let's tr go to the node. So this is a node I made and I already made some values for it. It's a nice uh, star fruit like shape. And then by changing some of the values you can quickly change the appearance. Might not be the most useful node but it's pretty cool. You know? you create some nice shapes. Okay, so choose how you want to combine the fruits. And I applied the flower bar node to a torus and I thought it looked pretty cool. And I also did the same thing to Suzanne. <laughs> Which gave her a big brain. <laughs> thought it was pretty funny. So like I said in that other video you don't need to um, use a sphere. So um, the super formula you can obviously find it on Wikipedia like so many things. And so we'll be creating uh, the formula quickly so mm, when you're copying formulas like this you need to start from the center so we're starting with m1 times the angle then dividing by 4 then taking the cosine and then dividing by a taking the absolute value so you need to work from like the inside all the way to the outside part just like when you're combining functions you first um, take the first one uh, the center one and then the last one and um, at the end we multiply by the radius this is not in the formula but otherwise it won't really work that well with other shapes so let's rename these radius and then just looking at the formula we can see what value gets which name and in the other node I also added um, whether it's for the sine or the cosine it makes it a little bit easier to see what will happen when you change one of the values and to switch the nodes around I scaled it along the x, uh, the y axis and just like you would do with uh, when you're editing like a mesh or something you can do the same thing with nodes to rearrange them I'll just plug in the values and that's our node I think right so um, let's quickly see rename it in the outliner and let's delete the other ones and try to create some nodes so on Wikipedia there are a few examples so we can try those so uh, we'll be using the angle phi, which goes clockwise around the z-axis. So the effect, since we're only using one of the nodes, we'll only be getting a two-dimensional effect, which we can see when we press numpad 7 to go on the top view. So as you can see, it look, from the top view, it looks exactly like that one. Um, we can choose another one, maybe the star one. And again, this is only from the top view. But if you add another node, we can also affect um, the side. Even then we'll use theta because that goes from the top of the sphere to the bottom. And we can mix them together with a multiply node. And there you go. So from the side it looks like the one we used for theta and from the top it looks like the one we used for phi. Obviously you can play around with these values forever and don't stick with the sphere, try it out on a torus, Suzanne, your own models, whatever you want. You can search on the internet for some nice parameters for the super shape. Um, these are some 3D parameters. So you see 3, 2, 5 and 7. And um, we need to delete the bottom one. There you go. You can add a wireframe modifier to get that kind of effect. 
obviously. You can do many things with it. 